Hey everybody, Robbie here, RV Sales of Oregon. Today we're taking a look at that 2006 Alpenlight fifth wheel. It's a 32 foot rear living room model. Um, Alpenlight's made a really good name for themselves. Um, always good windows in it, nice construction in it, always used a good hard wall. Um, they did the simple things right, and that's really the biggest things a lot of the time. It's just good construction. It keeps them on the road a lot longer. Um, you talk to someone that's owned one of these, um, they know that if you take care of them, they take care of you. They're, they're nice, solid rigs, so let's start looking at it. Um, again, 32 footer, looking down the side, you see that dry, the hard wall is nice and straight. It's got a nice finish to it, a uh, good fiberglass look. Um, decals have started to peel a little bit, but that's no fault of the coach. That's just UV rays doing that. Um, under here, we have a bit of storage. I know it's pre plumbed Oh no, pardon me, this is the wrong spot. I'm in the wrong rig, but we have a joey bed under there. We'll take a look at it from the basement door, but access to it from the front. Um, electric jacks up front, as it should be. Here we have our propane, two seven gallon propane tanks. And here's that basement space that we kind of saw from the front. Uh, obviously that door on the other side is gonna be bigger for loading stuff in and out. That joey bed won't pull out this way because it's a smaller door. Um, this is locked up, but this is your outside shower right here. And then you have the, the water heater here and your furnace here. Um, this is just kind of access to batteries, a place to store your sewage hoses. Oops, almost ripped my pants off. Um, and your valve for your black and gray. Pardon me. Uh, it is a 50 amp system. You have two AC units on here. They're each 13,500 BTUs. Um, here we have our nice big slide. You'll see from the inside how much that opens it up. And we have the bedroom slide. So it gives you a nice good space in there. Definitely a rig that I see a lot of people that'll, that'll full-time in, um, stay in for extended periods of times, or just use it for the weekend. Either way, it's, it's very comfortable for people. Um, as you can see, walking around the back, that were those really big windows. Alpenlight seems to do that with almost every other models, and it shows. It gives you a really nice open space in there. And then here's the view we saw from the front, from the other side. You have the manual awning up top. Um, that is 12, 15 feet or so. Good size little awning there. And come on in. Um, first thing I noticed, again, those big windows make for a really nice open space. Even when these are closed, that lets a lot of really nice lighting in. And obviously you could put bigger furniture back there. Uh, sometimes smaller is better. Whatever you prefer is the right choice for you. So um, these are not fixed. You can put whatever you'd like in there that works if you want to keep it that way. The couch here is a pull-out bed. Um, I believe it's standard type pull-out bed there. We have the, di or the dining area here, floating table. Um, this does leaf out. We have all four chairs out. You can see it, it works with without the leaf out, but gives you a little bit more space when it is out. Um, something really nice about it is all this counter space. It's a solid surface counter, um, and you got a lot of extra working space. This isn't something you see in a lot of rigs. They're normally so compact and tight, you don't get the simple things like having counter space to work on food. Um, this is a trash chute. It's a trash can out of the way. You don't have to set a place aside for the trash can. Um, and really good, nice construction. Good, solid materials on this. Um, all the way around, good storage in here. Even more storage up top. Uh, it's a three burner stove. This is made by Atwood, I believe. And propane oven there. It's to be about 16 inch or so. Um, General Electric's microwave convection oven. Um, we have the ceiling fan up top, ducted AC through the roof, uh, 50,000 B 40,000 BTU uh, furnace. Um, and then you have the surround sound all the way around that is controlled by this unit here. This also doubles as a DVD player, Bluetooth player. Um, you can run USB, MP3, auxiliary, all that jazz through there. And that's wired through the system that's built in. Um, pick a TV. Good. Most people uh, aren't happy with the TVs these things come with anyway. So pick one. We'll install it for you. Um, and then a little bit more storage down below. Good deep storage, you got a little subwoofer in there. And then, um, oh, Magic Chef fridge. Nice and deep, kind of residential style. Gives you a little bit more depth to it. And then even more storage up top. So I can't really have too much storage, that's always a good thing. Woohoo! And this thing 
pulls right out, makes your life a little bit easier. Um, heading into the bedroom, you do have this for a privacy door. Closes right up. And then in the bedroom, you have the walk around full bed here. The, the big closet in the back, pardon me. Big closet in the back. This kind of, originally when this was made, tube TVs were still a thing. So that was kind of set up for like a tube TV. Use it however you want. Um, that might also be a nice place for the TV is right on the, the counter there. Um, good size storage in your closet. Woohoo. And more here. No lack of storage on this thing. I think that's another reason why these are so popular for a live-in type scenario for people. It's, it's very practical. Um, not quite the full depth because you have your slide mechanism here, uh, but good storage under here for when you are parked and using it. Uh, make this really quick. Vanities of good size, good quality materials, some storage down below, and up above for your medicine cabinet. Very nice. And a great size shower. Wonderful size shower, I should say. I'm about, oh, well, I hit me in the head, but other than that, we're good. I'm about 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, get my arms up, get them out. Done. Good. And the commode. A very important part that people don't pay enough attention to. Good knee room here. You can easily sit down. Plenty of space. You got the window in here, and you have the, the fan on the ceiling. That's the stuff that should matter to you is the simple stuff. You got space. You got air. You're good. Alrighty. Well, keep it fairly short and sweet. These Alpen lights kind of speak for themselves. Um, they're not the most expensive rigs, but they are definitely in the higher percentile of quality when you're looking at these fifth wheels. Um, so if you're looking at this, you've been interested, maybe looking at other Alpen lights, come take a look at this one. It's in great shape. Why don't I have you take a quick look around all the ceiling lines here, if you don't mind, um, and just show that this thing is well taken care of. No signs of moisture in here. That's something to be said in the Pacific Northwest. We have a lot of chances for moisture. Um, but very, very clean unit. It's a 2006 Alpenlight Medea uh, 32 RL is the model. Um, if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to give me a shout. Again, I'm Robbie at RV Sales of Oregon. Um, thank you all for checking out this video and uh, I look forward to talking to you soon.